the winner of the $75,000 2012 Gordon E. Moore Award in the category of Medicine and Health Sciences, the My name is Jackie Andreka. I'm 16 years old. I'm a medical entrepreneur, an education activist, and a global change maker. In comparison to the current leading methods of pancreatic cancer diagnostics, my center is 168 times faster, over 26,000 times less expensive, and over 400 times more sensitive, costing three cents per test and taking five minutes to run, and as close to 100% accuracy. It's pretty mind-blowing. It's like a pregnancy test, but for pancreatic cancer. Even when he was small, he was making hypotheses and testing them, even though he didn't know he was doing. He was always testing his environment and seeing what would happen all the time, and so you had to watch him really carefully. <laughs> Jack is super curious, so he's always reading. He's reading journals, and he's online looking up things. He's seeing what's going on. I found this article. Will Jack and Draco go for the X Prize? The X Prizes are a series of multi-million dollar awards that are really to advance our society. And what they believe is that through competition, that really spurs on innovation. One particular X Prize that I have an interest is the Tricorder X Prize. Essentially what the Tricorder X Prize wants you to do is you have to create something the size of a smartphone that you pass over your skin and to, can diagnose any disease instantly. And it has to be inexpensive, it has to be really easy to use, as well as measuring like vital signs and several other important medical criteria. And so that would revolutionize how we look at disease diagnosis and treatment. It's pretty much like a life-changing and human race-changing concept. Jack loves a big challenge, and he is not frightened of failure. What makes me nervous is just the vast amount of people that are competing in it, because there are 245 other teams, and they're all major corporations and teams of adults. And I have a team of all teenagers. I've collected like the team of the most elite, like prestigious science prodigies in the entire world. The advantage of working with other teenagers is not to be offensive to adults, but most adults, once you're over 30, you have these preconceived blinders on, so you can't really do as much innovative thinking as teenagers can. Being an independent scientist with a vision is very different than organizing a team. And when you're a team leader, you have to be able to listen to other people. So I think his soft people skills are getting a workout now, and I think that's really valuable for him. So when I started creating my team, I decided I would have to have kind of two sub-teams. One was going to be the software team who was doing all the data crunching, and then one was the hardware team where they're going to make all the instruments to gather that data. Each person that I've gathered for this team has a specific purpose. So one person, for example, is designing the image recognition for our miniature MRI. Another person's doing the data crunching for all of our data into a single diagnostic. And then on the hardware side, some person's working on the heart disease. I'm working on general diseases with biomarkers, and so I can diagnose virtually any disease with that. And another person's working on your lungs. And so it's really incredible the comprehensive view that we've taken with this. My research would definitely not have been possible in the pre-internet age, just because the research would have been outdated. And also, I have all the world's information at my fingertips. The universal source of information on anything for me is Google and Wikipedia. That's all I've used for any of my research. My first work on my XPRIZE team is going to be making something called a Raymond spectrometer. Raymond spectroscopy is such a powerful tool just because it tells you exactly what's in something. So you can look at like environmental management, you can look at national security, you could say, is that a bomb or is that just a drink? So then you could potentially bring your drinks onto an airplane finally. And then also it could tell you, for example, whether you have a disease or not. And that's what's so cool to me is that I can actually look at your blood and say, these few proteins have to be there. So that means you must have this disease. 
Essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking something that's the size of a room and shrinking it down to the size of a sugar cube. And also I'm shrinking its price from $100,000 down to $10 and making it more sensitive, but also such that it can measure all of your blood analytes. So I'm advancing the field of renal spectroscopy by a lot here. This is a really long-term endeavor for us because it's a two-year endeavor of really concentrated work. And two years is like, that's one eighth of my entire life. So it's going to be a really significant portion and I'm just really excited about it. This is the very first time that this method, I actually thought up of this method entirely on my own. I want to change the world for a better society. And I want to show others that they can definitely do that and that regardless of your age, your gender, your ethnicity, regardless of anything, that you can accomplish something and change the world. Hi, my name is Jack Andreka, and you should subscribe to Thinker because maybe one day you'll create a pancreatic cancer test, like me. I actually became interested in pancreatic cancer research because a close family friend who was like an uncle to me passed from the disease. What I found is that our current methods for pancreatic cancer detection are really outdated. They're 60 years old. That's older than my dad. Also, they're really expensive. They're like $800 per test and they're grossly inaccurate, missing 30% of all the cancers. And then also they're rarely ordered because pancreatic cancer doesn't show any symptoms. It has like abdominal pain. Who doesn't have abdominal pain sometimes? I wanted a routine test that was accurate, inexpensive, and easy to use. 